Welcome back. I'm Mike with Drone Deer Recovery. We are yet on another call. I don't know what my face looks like, but it probably looks tired because I, I, um, I've been going pretty hard this weekend. It has been crazy. I don't know how I'm going to release these videos yet, uh, for sure, but if I do, you know, one video per search, there's going to be a lot of stuff, so... Make sure to check out those videos. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna see what we get into tonight. This uh, call here, uh, customer called earlier, uh, like, I don't know, two hours ago, and said that um, they hit a buck, and he was just wanting to see if it's something that I wanna come look for. They feel it's a good hit, but it's not far from my place, and he was just wanting to see if it's something that I, you know, need some experience or something like that but I've done so many this weekend that I was like you know I got I had a lot and anyhow long story short they started tracking this buck they jumped the buck they can't find the deer and now he's like come out here I, I need the drone I need you to find this deer because there's rain in the forecast and yeah they just want to get it located so that's what I'm doing headed out here Shouldn't be long till I get there and locate the steer. Whew! It's crazy, folks. We'll see you there. I'm a little out of it. I'm just a, a bit tired. How's it going? I'm Mike. Mike. Nice to meet you. Yes. Thanks for getting out of it's bed. It's starting to rain already. Here. Okay. It's my new size. I'm going to pin it on that face. Damn. Okay. Well, we're going to find it. Can I, awesome. Can, can I Mark? show you on the X map? Show yeah. Yep. Going on here. Okay, so we're standing right here at the house. This buck was shot in the back corner. This buck was shot right here in the corner. Mm -hmm. It ran. For, we gave it three hours, and it only went 40 yards, and it bedded back down. Miss had a seven or eight lad come at Brady Flash Lads, and had a new kick right to a navy in cornfield, lying it wide open. Miss Springle 10, 15 yards inside the bush. I touched down on Wobble. Blew it. Watched down on how this blew to its fist head. He ran somewhere up into here. This is all cornfield that's been picked all of these woods are standing wide open timber mm -hmm. okay yeah let's just do that how much is it gonna rain it's starting to rain hopefully we can get this thing soon Right there is that where the buck was shot. shot. At the tip of that small strip. Right, where I shot exactly it. right there is where it was shot. Mm -hmm. that blind. Last place we seen it was about two inch right in there. It's the last place we seen. Running. Area. That's in cows. Since our cows. Got to be bad fish. This happens to have a hand grad. Come on. I want this thing to be it. Let's go this. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling pretty confident. Show yourself. There we go, that's him. We got him. Why do I have buck fever like I've never had before right now? Isn't it wild? I think he's dead. Hey, hey! The day you're ready to hire an employee, you call me and I quit everything I do. Mm -mm. He's dead, isn't he? No, well, he's still alive. His ear's moving a little bit. He's he's about to expire. Yeah, we found him and he's still alive. Good job, man. He's all the way back. <sighs> Can you? Yeah, we got to show Dad that. That's the coolest. Um, What's that? Can you zoom in on it? Just so I can see oh, exactly wait, where he's at. This out. is cool technology. <laughs> you can see his ear moving. <laughs> he's standing God. there, isn't he's he? No, he's lying. Right. And it's raining. Oh. How did she no, find he's, him? He's, he's lying there. He's, he's laying there. there. He's, he's spread out. He's yeah. dying. He's stretched can out. Can you see horns? Oh, yeah. Wie ist ein Funner? 
Practicing. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> impressed. Boy, it's all empty soft up. Yeah. Bad guy. yeah. You guys have got to watch your language. Nope. We're ruining his content. His editing is going to be 10 times. <laughs> yeah, it just takes us. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't have found Todd Pocket in 100,000 no. years. Huh. I'm leaving him go till no. morning. Oh, yeah. That, no, but that deer is still. But it, still it's going to rain all night, and he's going to be laying there cold in the morning the way he's laying there now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's stretched out. Yeah. If we'd go after him, he'd probably get up and go another mile. Yep. King. I can find him in that little patch of woods tomorrow. Tell me about the drone. What do you think of that? It's an absolutely awesome. It's thing. wild, huh? It's awesome. I didn't know there was many, anything like that. How many deer have you shot back here that we didn't find? Two or three. Oh, and yeah. this same thing happened, and we searched all over the place and couldn't find them. And now you showed up and found it. And talked to neighbors, did everything we could. Couldn't find it. Now we get you out here, and five minutes later, here's your buck. He's almost dead. Go get him in the morning. Yeah. Do we like the drone? Yeah, we want to own one. <laughs> thank you. Cool. Mike. Yep. Hey, thanks for giving me the opportunity. Yeah, not a problem, man. Thank you. <laughs> this is the craziest thing. So it's now the following morning from when I located that buck. They went in there with the coordinates, walked right to the bed, and found blood in the bed. But guess what? There's coyote tracks in there as well. So deer is gone, and the coyotes chased him out of its bed. They call me back. They wanted want me to locate him again. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. This is the craziest thing. So for all these years that, you know, people have been using dogs and wanted to know why the deer went this far or something, I, I think this is some of the reason because we don't know that the deer, you know, was jumped by coyotes unless we have this type of data that we found the deer. That's where he was. But now he's who knows where because of coyotes jumping him so yeah we're gonna go back and uh, see if we can locate him who knows where the heck he'll be but hopefully we can uh, get this done this was the wildest story ever but i went back and looked all over the place for that deer i ended up not locating it and just assumed that he went way out of the area I just got off the phone with them because I wanted to get the coyote uh, track picture. And he said that they ended up finding the deer three days after I searched. So my attention was focused in the trees. Like, I'm going to take the blame for this one. I should have found the buck. I'll put a picture up. You'll see the track that I was on. But I could have found the deer if I wasn't so focused on looking in the trees. So they found the buck. I didn't quite, you know, close the deal. I went back the second time, didn't find him because I didn't go right across where he was. So that is that. See you on the next one.